All right, Jen, so let's start things off today by talking about the Mameluke sword. Now, some of you guys that know your military history know that this has been the official sword of the Marine Corps officer since 1825. But what you may not know is how the sword came to be a part of our uniform. No, that story takes us back to 1805, specifically the first Barbary War, specifically at the Tripolitan city of Derma in modern day Libya. It was there on the afternoon of April 27th, 1805, that First Lieutenant Presley O'Bannon of the United States Marine Corps led a daring attack that was able to take the city. In any case, O'Bannon would then go on to raise the American flag for the first time during a declared war on foreign soil. Now, as legend tells it, the reigning Ottoman Pasha, he presented to First Lieutenant O'Bannon an elaborately designed Marmaluke sword. This gift was meant to be a representation of the bravery shown that day. And 20 years later, the sword was adopted as the official sword of Marine Corps officers. Now, the reason I'm telling you this story is I want you to understand the importance of tradition in menswear. Because although you may not be trying to pull off a sword in your day-to-day -day wear, maybe you're trying to introduce a new pair of boots and you're unsure if these are going to look good on you. But here's the deal. If you know the history, if you know the origin of the desert boot, you know that this served British officers throughout World War II came out of Cairo and is a functional shoe that is a classic in menswear. And the use of suede made it more comfortable, more breathable, and better in a hot environment. So understanding that bit of history all of a sudden gives you the confidence to pull this off. And who cares what some uninformed person thinks about these boots? You know the truth. Neckties aren't just an item that corporate business people wear. They have a long storied history in unit identification. Seriously, read about the Croatians that served under Napoleon. Gents, the military made me stylish because it taught me the history of what I was wearing. When you know the origins of a piece of clothing, you can wear it in the appropriate situation with confidence. The next lesson I took from the military that made me more stylish is you got to take care of your body. So guys, here's the secret to why so many guys look great in their military uniforms. They're in the best shape of their lives. Seriously, when you've got a chest that's larger than your stomach, your arms are decent sized and you just simply stand up straight. Most men look decent. Put them in a uniform, put them in a unit. They look damn good. Now take that same soldier, feed him too many donuts. And as you can see, the uniform doesn't do him any favors. Now every military branch is slightly different height and weight standards. But one thing you can't deny is when your clothing starts to become a bit tight, you've got an issue, especially as officers, because you got to buy your own uniforms. You can't just go out and get a new one for free. Now, how to stay in shape, working out, getting rest. Yeah, that's about 30 to 40% of the equation. But the biggest part of maintaining a healthy build is controlling the food that goes into your body. And gentlemen, that's why I'm proud to bring you today's sponsor, Factor. Factor makes meeting your nutrition goals easier by delivering fresh, never frozen, dietitian approved meals right to your doorstep. Factor's got a team of gourmet chefs that make each meal using only ingredients with integrity to help you feel your best all day long. Now, gents, straight up, I'm a snob when it comes to food. We cook all of our meals from scratch at home. So when I tried Factor, I'm like, okay, send me some of these boxes, send me some of the meals. And I was amazed at the quality. My kids love it. My wife likes it. I like it. I mean, these meals are amazing. And that's why, gents, I want you to check them out because not everyone has the time to go off shopping, to go chopping, all the prep that you need to be able to make food from scratch. And let's not even talk about all the cleanup. Factor has meals that you can heat up in as quickly as two minutes. Boom. You can be eating a healthy meal that, again, is never frozen. And gents, I'm sure you can relate, but sometimes we eat things that aren't good for us because they're easy. They're convenient. We can get them through our car window. We can get them on the go in just a matter of minutes. And let's talk about options. If you're on the keto diet, if you want more protein. If you're a vegetarian, they've got you covered. Maybe you're trying to lose weight. Check out their calorie conscious options. Oh, and don't even get me started on their cold pressed juices. They're delicious and their protein shakes. They've also got seasonal flavors. I know with the protein shakes, I got this pumpkin flavored, absolutely delicious. Loved them. Gents, to get the best deal on the web, I'm putting a special link in the description of today's video, but you want to head over to factor75.com or click on the link in the description of today's video and use code RMRS50 to get 50% off your first box. The next way the military made me stylish, it taught me the importance of standards. I don't know about the Army, the Air Force, the Navy, or the Coasties, but in the Marine Corps, we have what's known as the Marine Corps Uniform Regulations. As of last year, I think those regulations are 263 pages of detailed goodness that explain exactly how to wear every single uniform. And when I say exact, I'm not kidding. I'm talking to the quarter of an inch where actually badges and rank insignia need to be pinned. 
Now I know to an outsider, this may seem like overkill, but for a military unit or a large organization or a cult like the Marine Corps, those regulations are really useful to ensure everybody is sending the right message. Because whether you like to admit it or not, people make a judgment of you based on how you present yourself, how you look. The first few seconds, they measure you up even before you've had a chance to open your mouth. You are being judged. Yeah, I know it's not fair, but it's the way the world works. And military units understand this, especially the Marine Corps. They want to make sure that they are sending the right message. Now, how does this apply to you as an individual? I'm not saying you got to have a 300, 200, or 100 page document, but I am saying you do need to set your own standards. Because if you don't have your own standards, society is going to throw theirs on you. Other people are going to force theirs upon you. And the problem with that is they're not looking out for your best interests. So when you walk into a store, you're looking to buy clothing. Are you dressing like the mannequins? Or have you thought through the message you want to send and then wear the appropriate clothing that sends the signal that helps build your reputation? You may be incredibly smart. You got that fancy degree. You've got that training. You've got that experience, but nobody sees that. What they see is the clothing you're wearing and to them, the message is sense. Now, this next secret on how the military may be more stylish is one that I think a lot of military guys forgot about, but it's very powerful in the civilian world, and that is to have an inspection uniform ready. So, what I'm talking about here is in the military, you've got inspections. You've got inspections before the inspections. You've got inspections before the inspections before the inspections. My point here is that you need to be prepared. You want to have a go-to outfit that makes you feel like a million bucks that is ready to go, that fits you. Every once in a while, you take it out, you try it on, or whenever it's called upon. This isn't something you wear day to day that you're kind of degrading, but you want to have those go-to outfits, those go-to pieces that just so, hey, whenever the shit hits the fan, you are ready to go. If you're single, this is your Friday night outfit that separates you from the crowd. It's that seductive fragrance that you only pull out when you want to grab her attention. On a more somber note, it's that dark suit that you've got ready whenever you're asked to be a pallbearer in an unexpected tragedy. The point is, gents, develop the philosophy of being prepared. Whenever I wear a pair of shoes, I shine them after I wear them, not when I need them because when you need them, sometimes you don't have time to get things ready. Now, speaking of uniforms, let's talk about the importance of a uniform. One thing I love about having a set of clothing that you can wear, it's very similar and you wear it again and again is you don't have to think. I mean, even Mark Zuckerberg, yes, the guy that wears t-shirts and hoodies all the time, he shared his wardrobe. It's pretty much the same shirt. Why does he do that? Well, he's probably thought through, you know, this is the kind of guy I want to come off as. Although whenever he goes to Congress, he does wear a suit. Point being is day to day, he wants to present this image of this relatable, you know, kid CEO, or at least he did. I mean, he's almost 40 now, but the point is he just doesn't want to think he wants to be able to get dressed and go. Same with the late Steve Jobs. Look at Dr. Dre. He wears the same Nike Air Force Ones again and again. You see, a uniform enables you to think once about the message you want to send and then craft a wardrobe that you don't have to think every time you're getting dressed, you just wear something similar or maybe in some cases the same thing and you go forward and you focus on what actually matters. Now, the military is an extreme version of that. To the untrained eye, everyone looks the same, but to somebody that's in these units, they can see insignia, they see rank, they see badges that tell them where this person fits. But here's the deal. It's the same thing in the civilian world. Most people just don't see it. But if somebody looks successful, they're going to be treated as a success. If somebody looks like they should be somewhere because they're wearing a uniform, they look like a maintenance person, well, security isn't going to stop them. Ever heard the joke about just simply carry a ladder, dress as a maintenance person, and no one's going to stop you from entering a club? It sounds funny. It sounds like a joke, but it actually works. So, how do you want to be perceived? How do you want people to treat you? And I'm not saying you got to wear a suit, but I'm saying if you're going to put casual clothing outfits together, think through the message. Think through, do you want to come off as a creative? Do you want to come off as somebody that is an up and coming owner of whether it be a bank, whether it be a nonprofit, whatever it is you want to do. I mean, even if you're starting a company that cuts lawns, I would still think that you'd probably want to have uniforms. Why? So that that single mom who's at home is going to answer the door because you look the part of somebody that's there to get work done. Now, this next lesson that made me more stylish, I was actually surprised that I learned it in the Marine Corps. Seriously, when I went to the basic school, which is a six month basic officer training program that all Marine Corps officers go through, I wasn't surprised that we learned about rifle platoon tactics, convoy operations, military operations on urbanized terrain, expeditionary operations, force protection, and table manners. Yes, you heard me correctly table manners. We actually had a finishing officer. There was a person there that worked with us on understanding 
all of the different forks, all the different knives, the different spoons when you're at a fancy meal, how to properly eat. We also went over calling cards, which is whenever you're invited to a big event, oftentimes a state event, you take a business card and you leave it that way. The person that's putting on the event can send you a follow up, how to talk, how to introduce yourself, what to do with the napkin whenever you stand up to go to the bathroom. Now, these lessons were only a couple hours and most of us understood that we needed to know this information if we were going to be serving at an embassy, if we were going to be at a state dinner, if we were going to be at an event with a VIP. But what's funny in my situation, I've used that information vastly more than all the other stuff about how to, you know, drive a tank, how to fire artillery, which was fun. But yeah, I just don't get those opportunities anymore. Eating on the other hand, yeah, I'm still doing it three times a day. Eating fancy, not as often, but I have been sharing the information with you guys. My point, gentlemen, etiquette, manners, communication. These are things we use every single day. So, if you ever get the chance to learn more about this, understand it's not time wasted. This is investing in yourself, especially if it's early on. And believe me, people, again, judge you. Are, do you chew with your mouth full? Do you talk with your mouth full? Do you have horrible table manners? These are things a lot of people notice and they will judge you and opportunities won't come your way. In fact, you may not even get that job offer because you so offend the owner of the company who's like, I can't put this person in front of clients. And that takes me to the next lesson that made me more stylish that I took from the military, details matter. So, to illustrate this point, I want to talk to you about the story of a helicopter going down. I remember this incident and us reading the after action reports and that's basically where the military goes through and they examine every little detail, the engineering, was it the pilot? Uh, they're trying to figure out what happened so it doesn't repeat itself. It turned out that the helicopter had been when it was going through repairs, one bolt or one washer was put on backwards. Throughout my short five-year career in the Marine Corps, I would see this again and again. Small details ignored and tragedy would occur. So, before you go out with your friends and you're trying that new outfit, maybe get their opinion. Before you leave the bathroom to go rejoin your date, make sure you do a check. Hey, everything is good. Zippers up. Is there anything in my teeth? Look in the mirror. Wash those hands. Before you buy that expensive watch that you didn't even know you needed till 30 minutes ago, can you sleep on it? Is it going to be okay? It'll probably be there tomorrow. Gents, be careful about complacency. The details matter. Really quick, let's talk grooming. So, most military guys don't have a whole lot of hair. Yeah, you got to keep it short, but you know what? With what they had, they would do an amazing job styling it. I remember the younger Marines, those corporals, those lance corporals, how they would get these really tight cuts. In fact, going out on leave, I remember seeing some of these guys just being able to pull tail in a way that I, I couldn't. Yeah, it amazed me. Some of these guys had great game and they, yeah, they didn't have a whole lot of hair on their head, but what they did have is they had a clean cut. Yeah, when it came to grooming, these these guys knew what they were doing. And this next one is probably one of the easiest ones on this list is simply to roll your shoulders back. Stick your chest out. Have good posture. One of the reasons so many military guys look good is they're standing up straight. They're not hunched over looking like they're on their phones. Now, if you've got that slumped over neck look, understand there are exercises that you can do to reverse it. So, get yourself in the gym, start working on that back. If nothing else, start doing some yoga and stretch so that your body will just feel better. All right, gents. So, what video to watch next? Well, if you enjoyed this one, you are going to love this video right here. Check it out. Solid video. Yeah, you're going to like this one. Boom. Click it right there. Yeah, go check it out. Did you notice that I changed the backdrop in this video? Oh, yeah. As soon as I started the video, I'm like, I've got to have my Marine Corps backdrop back there. Oh, yeah.